I was thinking back the other day on questions that I've gotten from people in counseling. One of the questions that has come up so many times, when will I be happy again? I want to read something to you that Charles Colton once said. He said, men spend their lives in anticipation, in determining to be vastly happy at some period or another when they have the time. Present time has one advantage over every other. It is its own. In Psalms, 128 verse 1, it says, How happy is everyone who respects the Lord and walks in God's ways. All too often, we think of happiness as a condition that happened in the past or something that we may experience someday, someday, in the distant future. But they are all mistaken, my friend. Happiness, if it occurs at all, lives only in the present tense. Happiness can be found in each precious moment that we are given by God. Are you willing to rise up above your present attitude right now? Are you willing to make this a happy day? I mean make it a happy day. To go out there and to, to stretch the bounds of, of what you're experiencing now by stretching your attitude to celebrate your life today. This day and each moment in it is a blessed gift from God. When you stop to think about that, you will probably have many reasons to rejoice. So whatever this day holds for you, know that it can be a happy day when you trust God and follow God. I remember once Robert Schuler, he spoke at my ministry and he, he was telling a story. He said there was a man that came in and he was talking about all his problems and just went on and on and on. And Robert Schuler, after about 40 minutes, stopped the man and said, are you breathing? And the man said, well, yes, I'm breathing, but he wanted to get back to his problems. And he said, well, do you have any pain right now? And you're, well, no, I don't have any pain, but I, he wanted to get back to his problems. Robert Schuler, over time, turned the man around to realize his blessings that he had right now in this day. And the man at the end said, well, this, I guess, is a pretty good day, isn't it? And it was. Throughout this day, I encourage you to give thanks to God. And throughout this day, realize God's love for you. Throughout this day, accept every moment, not just as occurring, but accept it in a joyful way and decide and encourage yourself to be happy.